Hello everyone. Today we are going to go through strong password, which is a problem on the string section of algorithm on Akarin. So without wasting time, let us have a look on the problem statement. So here's the problem statement. Louise joined a social networking site to stay in touch with her friend. The sign up page requires her to input a name and a password. However, the password must be strong. The website considers a password to be strong if it satisfies the following criteria. Its length is at least six. So this is the first criteria. It contains at least one digit. It contains at least one lowercase English character. It contains at least one uppercase English character. And it contains at least one special character, which is uh, one of those characters. So um, what is to be done here is that uh, she type a random string of a length n and the password failed, but wasn't sure if it was strong. Given a string, she typed, can you find the minimum number of characters she must add to the, to the string to make her password strong? Okay. So basically what we are supposed to do here, we are supposed to have as input a string that has been typed and the based on the string, we need to compute the number of, the minimum number of string that needs to be added to the string to make it strong. For instance, let's just take this one, two, B, 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 B. We can see that in this string, we have the digit. In this string, we have the lower case, but we don't have upper case. So the, uh, the password is not strong. We don't have special characters, so it's not strong. So to make this strong, we need to add the lower, the upper case and the special character. And uh, fortunately, by adding those two elements, we are, we are meeting this criteria. So just two elements will be, will be enough. And uh, for this one, we can see that the, the length is five. And we can see that we have one lower case, which is B. We have one uppercase, which is the A. We have um, one digit. Uh, now, what is lacking here is just to make it at least six. We have one, two, three, four, five. All those four criteria has been met. So what is what what remains here is to add one digit to make it six. That are two example of how we are supposed to fill the string to make it strong so now let us uh, exchange how how the approach will look like so one important thing to think is a data structure that will help us keep track of this to know if a string is if one of these criteria has been met so we need a data structure for that and uh, the best data structure for this will be a, a map a map where each of the key will represent either a digit and a lower case, upper case, or special character, and the value will be either one, will be just one to show that, okay, this criteria has been met. And uh, at the end, to know if this one has been met, we just need to make use of the, of the size of the, of the string. So without wasting time, let us have an, a look of the implementation. So like I said, the first thing I'm going to have my map of character under int, I will call it MP. Now I need to look through my string. You should be familiar to this. This is, uh, that means I'm, I'm looping every character of the string password. So here I have the the, the, the character, I have the, the character, which is C. Now I need to access the key corresponding to the character. If it's a digit, I'm gonna access to uh, MP of D, I'm gonna make it one. If it is a lower case, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna have access to MP of L. So I'm just, I will, I will have just a function here, get nature of C, I'll make it one. 
So get nature is a function that will get that will return me the nature of a given character. What does that mean exactly? So I'm gonna have like uh this will be char get nature that will take a char c. So uh what I will say is that if uh, the character is less or equal to zero and the character is less or equal to nine. If you are greater than zero and less than nine, that means you are definitely a digit. So we need to return N for number, right? This is totally up to me. I choose N for number. Now the other one, if you not if you are not falling in this condition, you may fall in the other one. If the character is greater or equal to lowercase a, and the, the character is less or equal to lowercase z, then you must be a lowercase. You must be a lowercase, so we need to return L. I just return L for lowercase. Now, if the character is greater or equal to uppercase A, is character, and uh, is less or equal, is less or equal to, It's less of equal to uh, capital Z, then we need to return um, uppercase. Now there's one thing interesting here in the constraint that we need to take in consideration. All the character in the password are lowercase, uppercase, digit, or this. That means if you're not falling in this, or this, or this, then you must be a special character. So we can just return here. S, that means you are a special character. I mean, this get nature, we either return N, L, U, and S, saying that depending on the nature of, of the character that has been given as parameter. So at the end year, depending the size of the size of the map will give us the number of the number of condition here that has been fulfilled. So if the size if the, the the size of the map is two, that means two of these four conditions has been has been fulfilled. If it's four, that means four of them has been fulfilled. So with this map, we know exactly how many of these conditions has been fulfilled. The only condition to check will be this one. So let us continue. Here we are going to say now, if the size of the map is less than four. That means one of those conditions hasn't been fulfilled. So the result will be something like um, four minus the size of the map. And to make this, you need to have the result here. It should be an int, sorry. So this is the first condition. If the size of the map is not four, that means one of that means some of those conditions hasn't been fulfilled, hasn't been fulfilled. So we need to add this number of element result, that means four minus the size of the map to fulfill those conditions. Now, what is the second condition is, is for the for the size. We're gonna say if n plus the result is less than six. That means the result will be will be instead six minus n. What does it mean exactly? That means if we fall here, that means the size of the character, the size of the, the string or, or the password, plus the number that has been added due to this condition is also is less than six. That means uh adding this wasn't enough to fulfill all the condition. We need instead to make the string to six character and making the string six character will be uh, adding the num the remaining number to make it six which is six minus n and from here we are, we are sure that the condition has been fulfilled because if you add if this was not enough to make it six character by making it six character here you just need to make sure that those special character are part of the string that you are adding so at, at this point, we can say that um, we can return the result because the result will be the minimum number of character to add to make the string, the password strong. Let us run and see what it gives. Uh, am I missing something? 
Okay, everything is green. So let us submit. We see that everything is green. Now, what I will do here is that I will kind of short hand those two condition and show you how you can have this in one in uh, how would I say how you can have this in one instruction. I will do a little bit of mathematics here. So the thing is, if we are in this condition, that means this condition uh, wasn't enough to fulfill the to to make the password strong. So I will, I, will, I will show you something on the next condition. The next condition is this n plus result, right? n plus result is less than six, right? And the, you, you, you can see that the result, the result is actually four minus m, m p dot size. So this is literally also equal to n plus four minus mp dot size less than six are we okay here yeah? and uh, if you want to talk it mathematically we can move this in the other side so this will be four minus mp dot size which is less than six minus n i just make this n cross the other side so this make me this lead me to understand that if four minus MP of size is less than six minus N, then the result will be this. And uh, if this, this condition is not fulfilled, then the, the result will be, will be this. So the result will always be a solution based on this, based on this condition. So we can just make it this way. We can just see result. We take the maximum value of this i mean the first one the maximum value of the of this one comma this one based on what i just explained so the result will always be uh the maximum value of of these two elements right because we can see that the result is this or this and uh, based on this manipulation we just did we know that it will be the maximum value of those two elements. Uh, what are you, why are you shouting here? So, it should be okay. Why are you shouting? Uh, okay, so someone can uh, just directly return this. Let us run and see what it gives. I don't know why we have this. Maybe internet connection. Uh, am I missing something? Six minus n. Let us see. Let us see. Mm. Four minus six minus n. Four minus n to the size. I think this should be cast into int. Okay, so this must be cast into int because yeah, you need to cast this size into int. Yeah, and uh, now everything is working perfectly. So if you want, you can directly return it here. You can just say return and then you don't need this anymore. You see, we can submit and see if everything is green. So perfect, everything is green here. We had a um, congratulation. So this was my point of view of how to solve this problem. I will be really happy to have yours and um, see how you approach the problem and uh, how you enjoy solving it. So stay tuned for the next video. Tomorrow we are going to have another exciting problem. I hope you'll be there to watch the video. Ciao.